Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, we're finishing a series for this week because I was asked a I was asked a question last week. Uh, what did I think I had done right and wrong? If you could go back, Mike, over the course of your career and change something, what would you have done differently? And it got me to thinking, like all the stupid stuff I did. And one a few of the things that I think I did right that really helped me. So I've been sharing those with you this week, and I want to finish that up today. And I've saved the most important ones for today. Okay? So on the positive side, let me knock that out, and I'll finish on what I, the number one thing I wish I could go back and change. Uh, you know, one of the things I think I did right that really helped me in my career as an agent was... Uh, I, ha- I had a really strong work ethic, and I was always really proud of that. My little mantra for myself was, I'm the hardest working man in Atlanta real estate. And I was proud of that. And I wish you would be too. And I think that was a key driver to my success. I just was willing to outwork everybody else. It was the advantage I had. Wasn't necessarily stronger, better. Um, smarter, but probably wasn't any of those things. I was just willing to work a little bit harder than everybody else and and be really consistent. I also had a really high risk tolerance level. I was always willing to invest in myself and in my business. And I wish you would be too. The best bet you can ever make is on yourself. And that's something that as I look back on now, I go, yeah, that was, those things were really key drivers for me. My consistent work ethic and my high risk tolerance. Um, What do I wish I could change? Uh, I'm going to tell you this. And if I get to go back 36 years to 1987 and I get to start all over again, this would be the number one thing I, I would change. I would be a whole lot less certain that I was always right. Yeah, that's the number one thing. I would be a lot less certain that I was always right. You know, when I look around today and I get to talk to a lot of different agents and listen to them, that's what I want to say to them. But most of the time I can't find the words to say it to you in a way that I think you can hear it. I would be a lot less certain that you're right. Or maybe the way you might hear me say it to you is this. If your way of doing it is so right, then show me the results. And if you can't show me the results, then I wouldn't be so certain that your way of going about it is right. Now, I've got a three-decade head start on almost all of you at the highest levels in the industry. You might, I don't know, this might sound crazy, but you might consider my views on how to do it before you start making up your own. I would be a whole lot less certain I was right. You know, I I would ignore what little good advice I had around me because I think I had it all figured out. I see this rampant throughout, I'm just, let's just talk about our office, rampant through our office right now. Some of you are so hellfire shirt, certain that you've got it figured out. Okay, but where are the results? And if you can't show the results that are equal to your ability, like you can say, well, I'm selling more than everybody else. Yeah, are you selling as much as your ability would allow? Are you maximizing your potential? And if you're not, you might reconsider your approach. But you won't. Why? Because you're so hellfire certain that you're right. I wouldn't be. I was guilty of the same thing. I go back and change one thing. Yeah, I changed that. Even today. I have to check myself quite often. Maybe... If my way of going about it is so right, then let's take a look and measure the results. And if the results don't measure up to my ability, then maybe the way I'm doing it 
needs to change. I don't know. I think it's something for all of us to consider. I hope that some of these reflections this week maybe have helped one or two of you. I hope so. If it was, then it was worth the effort. And I think for all of us, what we've got to do is we've got to get up, we've got to get out there, and we've got to go make it happen for ourselves today.